U.S. Customs and Border Protection in San Diego says the people in the migrant caravan are wasting their time if they try to apply for asylum here. The military is also deployed in San Ysidro in a support role. Border Protection says their holding facilities are at capacity right now and anyone who crosses the border illegally, including the migrant group, will be arrested. Border Protection says if the caravan does come here, nothing is off the table, including a full shutdown of the border. Mexico has already offered the migrants asylum. And new tonight, a border watch group says those troops aren't being deployed to the areas that need them the most. They showed 10 News reporter Anthony Pura the gaping holes in the border just miles from the San Isidro port of entry. On some nights, you'll see this white Honda driving along the U.S.-Mexico border. This secure? No. <laughs> Dan Russell thinks it's funny for anyone to suggest the border stops people from coming in. He's part of the Minutemen, a group of citizens that volunteer their days and nights to look for illegal crossings and report them to Border Patrol. Russell thinks of it as a neighborhood watch. Full-time neighborhood watch, that's right. Been doing it since 2005. People refer to it as the border fence, but to me, a fence stops people on foot. In some places it's like nine feet, other places it's more like six feet, and other places still it's nothing. Those sections of nothing are guarded with things like barbed wire. We've driven about a half mile now, and this is the third gap that we've seen on the border fence. Not only that, but the barbed wire there, you can see, has been cut. Thousands of military personnel have been sent to areas like the San Isidro port as caravans of migrants approach. But Russell says the extra manpower would be better used here. It seems like they're down in the areas where the fence is, is pretty secure. Uh, now, maybe they're expecting, you know, thousands to show up in Tijuana or Tecate. But if, if they're there in numbers, all they have to do is get on a, a bus take the highway an hour drive and come across a wide open border. In the mile of border he patrols, there are five open spots, just inviting anyone who wants to come in illegally. He says the Minutemen have helped plug those holes, but they welcome any help they can get. It, about every quarter mile, you want some uh, eyes on the border. At the U.S.-Mexico border, Anthony Pura, 10 News.